Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering and the Coordinator of Teaching Learning Center, Chair College of Engineering, Trichy. This lecture is on thermodynamics. Uh, it will be on bilingual. Thermodynamics lectures, various topics, first law, second law, zeroth law, properties of pure substance, properties of ideal gases, thermodynamic relations. The next chapter in the engineering thermodynamics is properties of gaseous mixture. Now, the properties of ideal gases, real gases, the mixture of ideal gases. The best example uh, for mixture of ideal gases is air, atmospheric air, which is the mixture of oxygen and nitrogen. So, we will tell you 21% oxygen and 79% nitrogen. This is the major constituent, major component in the atmospheric air. So, in the lecture, we will talk about this. So, number one, we are going to study about Dalton's law of partial pressure, mole fraction, partial volume, specific heat, internal energy, enthalpy, gas constant, entropy of the gaseous mixer. So, it is the ideal gas mixer. So, the gas will follow the perfect gas equation. The gas mixer will follow the perfect gas equation. What is the learning outcome? So, at the end of this lecture, the student will be able to define the Dalton's law of partial pressure, the student will be able to state Amagat's law of partial volume and determine the properties of gaseous mixture. So, in the lecture, we will have two more questions. Dalton's law of partial pressure, Amagat's law of partial volume. That's in the chapter, we will have problems cut time or gaseous mixture, properties of gaseous mixture, the problem or and the problem solve under the equations. In the third outcome level, equations, uh, properties of gases, various properties, specific volume, partial volume, partial pressure, internal energy, all property equations, so, we can solve the problem. problem is easy to solve the problem. So, properties of gases mixer. So, we take a gas mixer. So, let us imagine a homogeneous has mixer of inert gases at temperature T, pressure P and volume V. Why inert gases? Ideal gases are inert gases. They should not chemically react. So, it is a gas mixer and the gas on the one component and one component on the chemical react. Let us, there are N1 numbers of gas A1, N2 moles of gas A2 and up to the Nc moles of gas AC. So, N1, N2, N3, they are the number of moles of gas number 1, 2, 3. Then we write, we have one perfect gas equation, PV equal to N R bar T. So, P is the pressure of the gaseous mixer, V is the volume of the gaseous mixer, N is the total number of moles of the gaseous mixer, R bar is the universal gas constant. So, 8314.3, T is the temperature in Kelvin. Nareyam gas mixer rikadhala, we take number of gases N1 plus N2 plus N3, N4, N up to Nc. So, there are uh, many number of gases. The general expression N1 plus N2 plus up to Nc into R bar into T. If we expand the equation N1 R bar T by V plus N2 R bar by R bar T by V up to it goes Nc R bar T by V. And we have P1 equal to N1 R bar T by V and P2 equal to N2 R bar T by V and the PC equal to NC R bar T by V. So, the equation is the first, first term. It is partial pressure of first gas component. Second, P2, partial pressure of second gas component. Last gas is the partial pressure of the uh, PC. The C component, gas component, C, the final component. Now, the total pressure P 
we can write total pressure of the gaseous mixture P equal to P1 plus P2 plus P3 up to Pc. So, in the equation, the one another, Dalton's law of partial pressure. So, this is known as Dalton's law of partial pressure. The total pressure of a mixture of ideal gases is equal to the sum of the partial pressures. It is the Dalton's law of partial pressure. Next to mass fraction. Mass fraction is defined as the ratio of mass concentration of the gas A divided by the mass density of the gaseous mixture. So, mass fraction of the gas A equal to density of the gas A divided by density of the gaseous mixture rho A by rho or m1 equal to rho 1 by rho that is the equation. Then mole fraction, suppose you have n number of moles, you have n number of moles, so the gas mixer contains n1 moles of gas 1, n2 moles of gas 2 and the nc moles of gas c, then the total number of moles sigma nk or n equal to n1 plus n2 plus n3 up to nc. Now we define mole fraction number of moles n1 by sigma nk n1 than the number of moles of gas constant gas constituent 1 number of moles of total number of moles in the gas mixer so n1 by n x2 equal to n n2 by n and x is equal to nc by n so from the definition of partial pressure we substitute for n1 and n then we will get p1 equal to x1 into p plus equal when well, that is p2 equal to x2 into p and the Pc equal to Xc into P. So, now we add X1 plus X2 plus X3, you will get to 1. So, in the equation I add, denominator is Nk, numerator is also equal to sigma Nk. So, sigma Nk by sigma Nk equal to 1. So, in the equation, now what you know, the P1, X, P1 equal to X1 into P, P2 equal to X2 into P, and the P3 equal to X3 into P, in the equation, now what you know to solve the problem and the total number of moles n equal to n1 plus n2 plus n3. This equation also we have to remember. Then gas constant of the gaseous mixer. So, we have a mixer of gas constant of the mixer. This is m1 r1 plus m2 r2 plus up to mc rc divided by m1 plus m2 plus. So, total number of total mass of the gaseous mixer. m denominator is m total mass total mass of the gaseous mixer. Then equivalent molecular weight. So, molecular weight of the individual gas component, it is known m1, m2 up to mc. x1, x2 is the mole fraction. x1, x2, previous slide defined one, no. x1, x2 is the mole fraction. So, the molecular weight of equivalent molecular weight of the gaseous mixer, m, m equal to x1, m1 plus x2, m2 up to xc, mc. Then we define partial volume. The volume that a component alone would occupy at the given pressure and temperature of the mixer. So, suppose you have a three gases. So, the gas one occupies the volume that is called as partial volume. And we have one equation, Margaret's law of partial volume. The total volume of non-reacting gas mixer of gases at constant pressure and uh, constant temperature and pressure should be equal to the sum of the individual partial volumes of the constituent of the gases. So, Amagat law and then the definition plus the equation. So, now P1, P equal to P1 plus P2 plus P3 in Padichamari, total volume is equal to sum of the partial volume. So, total V, V equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3 up to Vc. So, total volume Vol total vol to volume of the to gaseous mixer V equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. That is the Amagat's law. Dalton's law is the total pr pressure of the gaseous mixer equal to P1 plus P2 plus P3. Then specific volume. We define the specific volume of the gaseous mixer. Small v equal to capital V by M. So, capital V by M1 plus M2 plus M3. So, 1 by V. We take the reciprocal. 1 by V equal to M1 plus M2 up to MC divided by M. So, 1 by V equal to M1 by V plus M2 by V to Mc by V. So, 1 by specific volume equal to total spe specific volume of the gases mixture equal to 1 by small V1 plus 1 by small V2 up to 1 by small Vc, where V1, V2, V3, they are the specific volume of the components. The 1 by V equal to density. 1 by V equal to density. So, density of the gases mixer rho equal to rho 1 plus rho 2 plus rho 3 up to rho C. The internal energy. Um of the gaseous mixer, 
m1 u1 plus m2 u2 up to mc uc divided by m1 plus m2 up to mc. So, total mass of the gaseous mixer. Then enthalpy of the gaseous mixer hm equal to m1 h1 plus m2 h2 up to mc hc divided by m1 plus m2 up to mc. That is the enthalpy of the gas gaseous mixer. Then we have specific heat of the gases mixer, specific heated constant volume and specific heated constant pressure. Specific heated constant volume equal to M1 CV1 plus M2 CV2 up to MC CVC divided by total mass M1 plus M2 up to MC. CPM equal to M1 CP1 plus M2 CP2 up to MC CPC divided by the total mass of the gaseous mixer. So, specific heat at constant volume, specific heat at constant pressure. The entropy change due to diffusion, the entropy, final entropy minus initial entropy, SF minus SI equal to minus of M1 R1 logarithmic of P1 by P plus M2 R2 logarithmic of P2 by P up to MC RC logarithmic of C by P. That is the entropy change due to the diffusion process. So, the gas molecule, that is gas constituent inside the mixer they move from one place to another place because of that because of the movement of the gas component there will be change in the entropy that is what called as entropy change due to the diffusion so we stop here these are all the properties of the gaseous mixer so you remember what is dalton's law of partial pressure what is amagat law of partial volume then the various equations to calculate the properties of the gaseous mixer that is the gas constant the partial volume specific volume, density, then uh, specific heated constant volume, specific heated constant pressure, then molecular equivalent molecular weight and change in the entropy, enthalpy and the entropy of the gaseous mixer. All the properties you have, equations you have to remember to solve the problem. So, in the next lecture, we take the problems in the gaseous mixture and we solve problems from the unionized question paper. So, we will meet again in another video lecture for solving problem in the properties of gaseous mixture. Thank you very much for your patient listening.